Hello everybody, this is Abraham and today what I want to show you is Honda Odyssey Entertainment System modification. Uh, this car comes with a Blu-ray disc player, this is the Elite version, EXL with rear entertainment system also comes with this uh, function. So you got the Blu-ray player and you got some other functions that are in my opinion useless and you got the HDMI input now HDMI input also exists on previous models that have the like 2014 that I had a had HDMI uh, but the port was way in the back and it was just kind of useless to completely uh, this one is also fairly useless even though it's closer up front um, but plugging something into it, what are you going to plug in? Uh, a DVD player? You already have it. Uh, what else can you plug in? A phone with a cord? Um, you can do that, but the problem is you're going to have cords all over the place, and this is usually for kids. And uh, if you have kids and cords and feet, and that's going to be a disaster because something's going to get broken, especially if you're going on a long distance trips. So here's a modification that I want to show you. Uh, I bought the, I bought this uh, screen beam mini 2 you can find them fairly cheap online uh, I bought it I believe like $20 25 uh, they're varying prices but uh, not expensive at all and this thing allows you to do something magical with this car I am in the back and uh, this is where HDMI uh, connector is to apply the modification there are several ways that it can be done one simple way you can simply plug it into the HDMI port and plug in the power to the USB port and you will have the thing here problem with that is I'll show you in a minute it's gonna stick out this much and when you have kids fit here most likely that's gonna get broken the other way is to put it on the inside and there's two ways to put it on the inside to open this console you basically just lift this up like this there are no screws it's held by the clips and pull this out okay what I got here is my screen beam right here and I've modified this little uh, USB uh, I don't know box uh, to have another USB for the screen beam on the inside and you can see that it says ready to connect I have a phone here let's enable the phone and uh, so on the phone this is a galaxy we got a screen beam connection smart view and here it is connecting and that one says connecting so they're both connecting all right so I got my phone on my rear view screen you cannot put it on a front screen but rear view is what I need for the kids now we can go to so this uh, phone has unlimited internet uh, we can watch movies right off the internet or I have some movies uh, right in the phone let's see if we can find something we could play um, the reason I'm looking is I don't want the copyright stuff to kick in and punish me so let me just open one of my videos Let's see if we got anything in here so here's a video play video um, and there you go I'll send another set of instructions um, so it's playing through the uh, entertainment system if you have uh, normal so can you repeat everything you, you will be able um, to 
and you can control it with the phone. So you got your play, these instructions, because stop, and uh, there you have it. Very simple to set up. Uh, like I said, there are several ways that this can be done. Um, let me disconnect. You don't have to disconnect, it'll disconnect by itself if you turn off the phone. Um, if you have, you know, you can't expect this to work uh, completely flawless, like if you stop the car, it will remember where the disc was stopped or song was stopped. This is, doesn't work that way. You kind of have to restart the movie, scroll it forward and backward. But it allows you to connect your phone to your car wirelessly. And I think this is something that's really, really missing in this uh, setup. Let me disconnect everything. Other thing that uh, I need to warn you about, it does get hot. Uh, this little unit gets hot, so it's not going to be unlimited amount of time that you're going to be able to watch. It would be nice to put a little fan and actually take off the casing, put some kind of uh, um, uh, uh, heat dissipation or mount this directly to a metal in the car. That would definitely increase the amount of time you can use it. Uh, but as a trial that I'm doing it right now works perfectly. What I was gonna say is, so if you have this thing plugged in directly, into your HDMI port and into a USB port just like that you can see that the thing is sticking out quite a bit uh, the other thing that I was talking about is you can actually pull your HDMI cord right through the hole this actually comes out uh, well this can be pulled out uh, and you can pull the cord right through and you'll only have the HDMI sticking out which in my opinion is also too much when you have kids uh, so what I did was like I said I used this HDMI on the inside put a little sticker do not use if you plug something into it it won't fry it uh, it can but it won't um, and I have the port on the inside and uh, everything is on the inside let me reassemble this uh, one more thing that's important is have some kind of padding so it doesn't rattle around you can see all the cords from the factory have padding on them so that if they uh, vibrate they don't rattle too much and don't make too much noise let me put it back together this is how my setup looks so I got some padding um, I would also put some tape to manage the cords and uh, just basically put it in the sides of the console itself are gonna hold it in place and we'll see how it works I'll have some kids in the car and we'll check it out okay the console is back together you can see that it says ready to connect and uh, that's it uh, negative about this system uh, the uh, screen beam is on all the time I'm thinking of modifying the system once again put a little switch in here uh, so that you can turn it on and off that would be something that definitely helps because there's just no need for that thing to be on all the time uh, I'll see if it's actually needed or not uh, when uh, you're not using it it doesn't actually generate a lot of heat it's just basically being on um, and when you turn off the screen uh, you, you know it's not gonna see anything uh, the system is in more or less a taste testing stages uh, I will see how this whole thing performs and hopefully make another video on this uh, modification so to recap we have a useless HDMI port in the car but we can use it to add a wireless connection to the entertainment system and beam the phone uh, information or whatever that can connect to it right to the entertainment screen thanks for watching if you like this video subscribe enjoy save money